Welcome to the My Class 2.0 video podcast. My name is Mark Coleman. In this series of videos, I will discuss how you can use cloud computing, web services, and harness the power of the internet to improve your workflow and make your class a richer environment. There's almost a generational divide to the way people communicate. My parents' generation would exchange home phone numbers, while my generation exchanges email addresses. Younger people exchange mobile phone numbers for texting. These are guidelines, exceptions do exist, and social networking has become an important communication tool for all generations. But one thing can be emphasized emphatically. Today's students don't use email. Education as an institution ignores all of this and treats email like students use and are bound to it as much as their teachers. I did an informal survey of students. They do use email, but as means to an end. They need an email address to sign up for Facebook, message boards, and other internet accounts. They use it to thank grandma for Christmas and birthday gifts. But students do not check email regularly for messages and generally do not view it as an efficient means of communication. Many times I've received a student question via email. I would respond promptly, only to find several days later they still have not checked for a reply. Even when students have initiated communication via email, it's not in the forefront of their mind to actually check their email account for a response. Email accounts are accumulators of junk, of spam and bacon, and little actual back and forth communication takes place via email for them. I opened up student communication via texting. No one wants their cell number to become common currency among their students but Google Voice offers a solution. I go to Google Voice and sign up for a local number for my area. I've configured my number so that if someone calls it, they hear my voicemail and are prompted to leave a message. When they do leave a message, I receive a text with the transcription of the voice message. I can use the Google Voice mobile web page to call back, leaving my Google Voice number as the caller ID. I can even get Google Voice to record phone calls I make with it, and it will make a transcription for easy documentation purposes. That is mostly for parents, though. They call. Students text. When a student texts my Google Voice number, I receive an email via my Gmail account. When I reply to the email, Google Voice replies to the text. A full record of all text is kept at the Google Voice website, easily printable for documentation purposes. I can turn off forwarding to my mobile for holidays if I want, and even block any number that leaves harassing or inappropriate messages. Students are comfortable texting, and Google Voice allows you to text back and forth with them, documenting all communication and keeping your mobile number private. Thank you for watching this episode of the My Class 2.0 video podcast. For questions, suggestions, or comments, please email me at myclass2.0 at colemanspace.info or call or text my Google Voice number at 334-595-9673. <laughs> Output transcript Out, 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 out,